want to appreciate all of you for being part of this gospel community. Yes, you have been watching our movies. God has been blessing you through this ministry. Now I'm here to plead with you. I don't know what to do again than to plead with you. Please kindly subscribe to Dasset. How do I beg you people? God will bless you as you subscribe. Please, subscription is free. Just press the subscription button. Subscribe to Gassem TV. We are here to bless you. This is what we do on a full time. This is what we do every day. Help us, encourage us. God bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Now I want to wait for you as you subscribe because you must do that right now. Wealth indeed gives you a voice, hmm. sits you in high places, buys you respect, and makes you relevant. But it is all for a season. Little wonder the Ecclesiastes said, it is all vanity. Just within the space of few months, I already feel displaced. <sighs> no, I'm displaced. Yeah, I did. <sighs> Are you done? Yes, I am. I left you here a while ago. And you remain on the same spot. It's over three hours already. Why do you look so perplexed? I mean, what troubles you? Prepare me for your thoughts. When is the church anniversary? That should be three months away from now. Wait, 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 wait. You mean we haven't received any notification? Who is the anniversary chairman? Oh my god. No, this can't be. Captain, what happened? Poverty happened. 
loss of power and influence happened. So cruel. So we were only for a season. For the past five years of the church existence, have been the anniversary chairman. But now, <laughs> now, it is past. Oh! <sighs> Why do I think that I'm indispensable? <sighs> now I'm a character to be mentioned only in history. Your social standing. Must that also affect the church? It has. It has, my dear. I'm now worthless. In spite of my hearty commitment to the church through sacrificial donations, pledges. Of faith, not to mention the bountiful offering. Ah. Is this their method of appreciating my resilience in ensuring growth through financial contributions? Ah. What do you expect them to do? No, no, this shouldn't have been me. This shouldn't have been me. You've got no pen. Are you here having an illusion of becoming an anniversary chairman? Don't you know that when the judge honors you with a position, it is simply to gain your financial support. <laughs> right now, you don't have anything to offer the opposing ones of the judge. This shouldn't have been me. It shouldn't have been me. Take it easy. We just have to this is a typical presentation, dramatic presentation of a hero who fall from grace to grass. No, I won't accept this. I, I won't know. accept this. Just calm down. I will try to hear what How? Tell me and give me a discourse that will help my feeble hearts and also lead me from the dungeon of hopelessness. How would you suggest that? What other option do you have? Tell me about them. Let's weigh the options and see. Maybe, just maybe, I would accept and reconsider my own unreasonable suggestion. Uh, um... This is our only option. This is the only way out of this disgusting situation. Jesus. You faithfully served the nation as a military officer. And afterward, God don't. We are the people you saw to save with your last breath. What is the nation doing to save you from your own predicament? We are dead. Where is the nation ends of fellowship? We are the people that are cheated and relegated by our leaders. They speak, but their words fall on deaf ears. They fight, but they only get wounded and crushed without any change that will save them from agony. Then your purpose, passion, and pleasure became trashed and trampled, faded and forbidden. Wasted and wicked because of your dedication to a voiceless people. You lost everything to a voiceless people. A degenerated world. And now, they still look up to you for help. You are lost. You also need to be helped. But where is your faith? Missing. Dead. <laughs> yes. Missing. From the day the biblical standard of mass responsibility became compromised in this home. 
The Bible categorically stated that a man that cannot provide for his own is worse than an unbeliever. Ah! Oh, oh. Seek help. So that the very people you are bent on saving can be helped as desired. Don't you get it? That is not enough reason for me to visit a diviner. A soothsayer, after giving my all to Christ, that will be worse than my present woes. I pledge my allegiance to Christ and I cannot fall back. You claim an allegiance when the church representing Christ has forsaken you. How can you be so shallow minded? Snap out of this disgusting situation. My family is fully aware of my existence. Even if the church is not. Which family? Tell me, which family? Since you have been in this condition, how many of them pay a courtesy visit? They cannot go. Do you know why? Because you are living dead. Any man without money is not different from a lifeless body. <coughs> My dear husband, I present to you two options. Two and only two. Is it that we opt for my suggestion? Or we sign up for poverty? My dear wife, my darling wife, your suggestion is barbaric and was scriptural. Very unscriptural. I, I choose not to bow down to a lifeless sculpture, a or whatever you call it, the name, for money and influence. No, I won't do that, my dear. You get it all wrong. You are not bowing to any gods. You are just seeking them. Eh? From who? From the so called that God created by the Almighty God. Where are you going? To the direction my parents wanted me to go. I think it is better for me to obey them as commanded by God. I'm signing out of this futility and fruitlessness. Your daughter is on the bed. Ah, oh, my dear, remember the vows. Remember the vows. Vows? I've told him countless times that we should get married. You know, if we are joined by now. My parents wouldn't have had a church. So, are you saying your parents decided not to consent to your union because of a minor accident? Minor? You call this minor? Your brother's leg is amputated. His leg is gone. So, isn't there anything that could be done? Can't you do anything about this? Are you saying seven solid years of relationship would just go down the drain? Please, my brother's life is meaningless without you. I can't stand it. Please do something. I've watched you both grow together for these years. My brother's life will be meaningless without you, please. Anyway. I'm not saying I'm not going to marry you. Okay. Just that uh, I'm concerned about my parents. Oh, so what do we do now? Well, don't worry, I'm going to take care of them. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, well, I'm not going to regret this. I promise you. I can assure you that you won't regret this. This is a step you're taking that you'll never regret. My brother said, and I quote, that. This marriage is yours. You can do whatever you want with it. Just please. Please. Thank you. Come here. Why? Why? Why did you attend Susan? Is it because your father and I oppose your marriage to that cripple? Please now, talk to me. 
talk to me now. Mama, I'm not interested in marriage anymore. <laughs> huh? Really? Yes. Oh. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. But I will die. I will get it. That shall not be your portion. Huh? I will die. Oh. I will die. Oh. Okay. If that is the case. You can marry him. Nigel, you can marry him. You have a blessing. No, no, Mama. I'm not interested anymore. I want to die. I said you can you are free to marry him. Your father will soon be there, eh? Your he should not come home. I would rather die before he arrives. Hey! You should not come Please, home. my dear, don't die. I will talk to him. I toyed with my life to make this marriage work. Oh, Lord. Oh Lord, you know that I love you, but the only option left for me is to be in defiance to your word. Lord, I want the place be created to offend you, the Creator. I want to let go of my steadfastness for a woman I promised. I'm about to turn away from your sacrifice because of the sacrifice of my wife for me. Oh. I also ignored my parents' advice not to marry you. We can't continue like this. You depend on me for everything. Can we acquire corruptible wealth and use it for incorruptible business, which is heavenly? We will spend the corrupt money wisely. God must forgive us. Awa, good morning. I heard about your business just because you want to marry. I thought he had everything to take care of you as a responsible man. What exactly happened that conditioned your life to a spot? What happened? It is actually a complicated story. But I will make you understand. Mm -hmm. Baba, the history of insurgency and terrorism plaguing our country is not a means to tolerance. As a military officer, I was saddled with the responsibility of protecting lives and getting rid of terrorists. So, I requested for ammunition to one of the terrorist hideouts. Mm, Baba, my request was nullified. Mm. And we were giving supplies that could barely scare common criminals. Thank you, sir! Michael, I love you so much. I consider you my friend. You taught me to defend the unity of this nation with my life. But this insurgency is gradually tearing us apart. Sir, let me have access to explosives and I will destroy the enemy. You are right. But the father from my home says there shall be no exclusive. Just be present. Let the media and everyone see the army around. It is not possible, sir. Are you defying my order? No, sir. But um, I'm only worried that the military scale that I learned is now becoming worthless. Eh? The nation is in a pool of blood and I can only look on. It is painful, sir. 
Sir, don't you think our negligence will lead to an uproar among the already suspicious civilians? Captain Micah. Yes, sir. You are brave and intelligent. But for the sake of your future and ours, you are betrayed. Them. Pretend like nothing happened. Act like no one made a sound. Many brave soldiers have risked their life. They lost their lives. Nothing happened. There was no societal disorder. They only made it through a page of newspaper journalists. And the voiceless people they laid their lives down for remain voiceless till now. Captain! Stop! Who pay for that strictly? Good day! Good day, sir! Captain! Stop! On the contrary, go with the bombs. But on no account must you use it. You are left with no other option. Dismissed! Okay, sir. I refused to accept the offer. But there was nothing I could do. Because I was a man under authority. I was angry at the system I belonged to. We seemed to be hiding something. So, I went to the war front with local explosive. But it went all wrong because the, the local explosive exploded before it was put to technical use. Mm -hmm. And that led to the amputation of my leg. Baba, <sighs> I was dismissed from the army without any benefit. I lost all for the sake of justice. I could have been executed for rebelling against the authorities, if not for the timely and quick intervention of my boss. You need to help us, uncle. Wipe away my tears. You can't watch him live the harmless lifetime he used to live before. I will help you. Thank you. I will help you. If only you can pay the cost. Uh, you know, we are not brilliant like we used to be. But we will try to meet up with your demand. We will try, we will try to do that. Try. <laughs> the girls are not asking for too much. They are only asking for a seat. A seed? How oh, about that? That is your first child. What? What did you say? My own child? Other items do not cost you a fortune. No, 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 no. That can never be. I can't part with my only daughter. You better ask for something else. The girls are not asking for any other thing in your case. I can't. Oh, my dear, we, we, we can't. We can't. We, we have to leave now. Yeah. No, but. It takes courage to conduct this ritual. You must not shed tears in the process. Over there is the sacred mortar. I will prepare the other items you brought in the sacred room. If I can only make sure he personally mash the girl in the sacred water with these leaves under it, it must be carried out by our norms. I learned that you are a soldier. You, I learned that you are a soldier. Yes. I'm not interested in any talk with you. But I also learned that the soldiers they used to shoot people. Hold it! And stop it! Stop it! Don't 
don't you ever mention anything with me again. Don't! Don't! Well done. Thank you. Hope you are not tired. Uh, well, 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 the task is done. Yes. The task is done. We are true. Ah! And therefore, in got the budget. If this is not the leave I have to put in the mortar before he starts smashing the girl. <laughs> I just remember that. Yay! Yeah. If I go show you, I forgot. Ah. And this is the first time I've been doing this sacrifice on behalf of you since this is the first time I'm going to do this. I'm sorry. I'm very, very. Bakula! I think I'm going to go to the You know what it took them to get to this point? Ah! They suffered to get to this stage? Not in shame. There is no cause for alarm now. These are the leads, right? Let's add the leads now. Very simple thing. No, 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 no! This is a way. A waste? Yes! Fakule! Fakule! Is that it? Can you see that coco? I mean, you only would like to consider it. This is a waste! Papa, what are you saying? Look for another child. Huh? Eh? What did you just say? Why? From where? Uh, uh, this child was our only child. Where else do you want us to get another child from? We should have told her all this before now. And of course, you should have monitored the process yourself. You shouldn't have delegated anybody to do it. You should have done it yourself. I told Fakule to monitor it, as this is not his first time. Fakule! I'm sorry. Fakule! You must be joking, right? Now you listen to me. I'm going to deal with you. I'm going to smash you. Like maybe smash my own child. I'm going to kill everybody. You bloody civilian. I will destroy everybody. I will destroy everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. My coming back will be dangerous. I'll be dead. Oh, I'm dead. 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 I will give you a 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 I will kill everybody. 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 I will kill I for the sin I committed. I'm sorry, Lord. Forgive me for listening to my wife, the voice of my wife, like he damn did. Lord, I'm sorry. I'm in peace, Lord. I'm in peace. Not because of my loss. I'm in peace for disappointing you. Lord, forgive me. Lord, I'm sorry. Oh, oh Lubala, go me. Go me, Baba, go me. More was thought to rap me. Oh, Lord, daddy, Jimmy, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me. Baba, Father, you better just go. Oh, no, 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 I'm not interested. I'm not interested at all. I have a suggestion, my husband. Hey, suggestion again? Suggestion? Ah! No suggestion. Don't let's suggest anything. For the next few weeks, no suggestion. Ah, do you know what it means? To pound your child your, with your own hands and crush the child with your own hands. Ah! As a matter of fact, no suggestion for two months. No suggestion. 
It's just that uh, Baba Fadipe. Mm -mm. Don't defy my order. No suggestion. Father, we don't want any suggestion again this room. Then your suggestion. Your suggestion, Lord. Your suggestion. The trauma of having to use my whole hands to kill my only daughter. Banded her, banded her, and killed her. It was quite an negotiating thing. My brother, my sister, all you need is patience and a trust in the word of the Lord. Hmm. Everyone, everybody has a most difficult and tough moment. Especially Godliums. But the decision you made at the altar when you cleaved together should come handy and effective in a moment like this. Hmm. And that is why my wife and myself have decided to be going around churches to admonish them and teach them about the need for patience. You need more patience. I mean, and in a time like this, you need your faith to be stronger. <laughs> My brother, you want to abandon your wife because of miscarriages. Oh, my sister, you want to quit the marriage? <laughs> my brother, your home is of the Lord. Do not allow the devil to take over the way. What I'm saying is this. Do not allow the devil to drive you away from the driving seat, take over the driving seat, take over the steering. Don't allow that because your home is of the Lord. Are you aware that? Fainting in the days of trouble is an indication of little faith. We will overcome this and testify. Amen. Amen. We will actually be praying for you and we trust God to answer your prayers and of course our prayers very, very soon. Amen. Amen. But Evangelist, you aren't ashamed of sharing your testimony. <laughs> My sister, God turned our needs to message. Hmm. And come to think of it, the money we were running after is now running after us. Exactly. We are now dominating money. Hmm. And God by his mercies has given us two kids. And his financial abundance has found a good place in our lives. So the point that we don't have any difficulty in sponsoring the children. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. In fact, we are indeed edified. God will continue to bless you, sir. Amen. God will continue to raise your ministry Amen. higher and higher in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah, <laughs> it's lovely, beautiful, excellent, excellent. Oh, I'm happy to see you, my children. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, we missed you. Mm. Really? How much did you miss me? A lot. Mm. We wish you went with us. The flight was long. I slept all through. Daddy, Daddy, California is in way compared to Nigeria. We participated in Nigeria. Sonia was scared. <gasps> Don't remind me of that. That costume was really scary. Did you protect her? Yes, Daddy. Now I am a man. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, you must have enjoyed yourself. Yes, we did. We visited many places. We went to the city of the angels. City of the angels? Where is that? It's Los Angeles, Daddy. Los Angeles. Where else did you visit? San Diego, San Francisco, Sacramento. <laughs> Mommy, Lord, It's all right. That's enough. Oh, yeah. Come on, take your shower. Yes, Go inside. Go inside. So, because you saw your kids now, I'm no more important, right? I've just missed my children. I hope you had fun. You will get your answer maybe when you turn back the hands of Claus when I came in. 
darling. No, no, no. Don't be too hard on me. I missed you. I know. So, how has my husband been? My <laughs> husband is trying. Oh, that's good. <laughs> We only came to see you with daddy, that's all. Is it wrong to greet one's dad? Oh no. It's just that mom is always very serious on Monday mornings. Who made we get so short and we did so long? Well, 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 I didn't remember to ask my teacher that when I was at the school. Maybe you should help me ask your class master. <laughs> Headmaster and headmistress, please, that's enough. Come on, get up. Go and prepare for school. I'll prepare your bath. Oh, yeah, yeah, get up, get up. So. Yes, mommy. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> Are you headmaster? Are you not going to work? <sighs> headmistress, I shouldn't remind you that I own my job. Mm -hmm. I can resume at any time. Alright, but, but don't teach my children to be less commas like you. Okay, look at my lad. Let me let me give you a very beautiful good money. Come, 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 come. If I cash you, eh? <laughs> so Jay, go and prepare Captain's car and tell the cook to put the lunch bag inside the car. Thank you. <laughs> and where should that be? I would like it if you can help finalize Sonia's admission process. Ah, my daughter is now in secondary school. <laughs> oh, smile now. Is that ready for now having a screen? Your registration process will be concluded today. Okay? And I'm sure you get your screen. <laughs> Uh, Richard, hope you pack all your stuff. I'm going to drop you in your school. I'm going to follow that thing. Alright guys. Alright guys. Well, we'll be going to school together. We'll have a stopover first at um, Richard's school. Then we'll proceed to Sonia's school. Yeah. Dad, we'll make a stop over at the supermarket to get some ice cream and peanuts. You know, that is our secret store. So we should not do that. <laughs> will you hurry up? It's past seven already. If you get late to school, you will be punished and that's not my problem. Can you see that? She's already <laughs> getting jealous. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome, sir. possible for my daughter and I to have different genotype? How do you mean, sir? My genotype is AA. Probably your wife's is AS. Uh, no, my wife's genotype is also AA. 
Did you adopt her or what? No, it's at all. She is my blood. It's not possible. Can you go for DNA test? Doctor, are you insinuating that she is not... I mean, she resembles me. She looks exactly like me. Yes, sir. Yes. No. That something strange happened today. Sonia went to the hospital with her dad. She said that Captain was asking the doctor if she resembled him. I wondered. I don't know, but it's like Captain is up to something. All right. Actually came to know if the resort is how the test resort. Yeah. I just came back from the lab, which was a moment ago. Oh, that's good, good. So uh, what is the result? She's definitely not your blood. Uh, 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 is that what the DNA test says? Yes, sir. I will advise sir. You take it easy. Don't take any action in hurry, sir. Doctor, I am emotionally stable. A retired soldier for that matter. So I can bear anything. But please, you do something for me. Please, let this information be secret and confidential. Let it be, let it be between us. My wife should not know all this place. Thank you, Doctor. She could so pretty, eh? In your border to Beleura, she Beleura, Loma. Oh, God, help me. This is my daughter. Sonia is my daughter. Devil, you can't destroy my home. God has used me to rebuild broke homes and restore broken marriages. Hmm. I have given myself as a living sacrifice. Could this be a punishment for my sins? No, no, it is manipulation. She is my replica. No, my complexion, but it speaks like me. Devil, I bind you in Jesus' name. Be gone from me in the name of Jesus. Happy wedding anniversary, sir. Oh. <laughs> sir, report as it that your family has been helped to a lot of early gnomes, both in Nigeria and abroad, sir. And because of that, she's been a role model to a lot of people, sir. Well, uh, God did it. Sir, we are using this medium to tell you that our TV station will host you to deliver a lecture on restoring broken homes. Kindly check your schedule to help us with our plan, sir. Uh, no problem. We will get back to you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, looking at the state of our amiable captain evangelist, 
Everyone here will agree with me that the madam is the backbone by standing solidly behind him. Oh, yes. The record asks that the captain has been in this condition before her mommy agreed to marry him. And could you shed light on this, ma'am, sir? Well, she is yeah, such I a... I appreciate you all. We are really taken by surprise. Permit me to say that I look beyond this physical challenge despite of the pressures from my parents. Wow, that's amazing! Please, let's celebrate them! This marriage is celebrated home and abroad. The state governor celebrated us, and all my entitlements were released by the federal government. But no, no, she's my daughter. I need to have a just DNA too. Devil, stop playing with my emotion. Don't push me again. They are my children in Jesus' name. They are my children in Jesus' name. Mitele, what is it? Why did you make such a distress call? You scared me. <sighs> the moment he told me he has half brothers, he knew my marriage isn't safe anymore. Where will I have my own child? When? Good thing not fears. It will bless you with a child soon. How soon? Is it when other women have taken my husband away from me? Because I can't have a child. What did you just say? <laughs> you heard me right now. <laughs> I'm not a fool. I can read the right things on the wall. Mm. My husband never keeps anything away from me. But he now makes secret calls. He barely touches my food. I can feel the distance. Oh. Are you suspecting your husband of infidelity? <laughs> what else? What man is calling secret? Drop the call upon my entrance. Let's debate through whenever his phone rings. If not, and if he did, I don't blame him. <laughs> I blame it all on my childlessness. Mm. I believe your husband will be no such thing. Oh God! If only it could give me a child. At least one to wipe away my tears. Hey, God will surely keep me in He promised that no one shall be married in the land to show me. Let's keep praying. Go with do it. I don't like my dad. I don't like him. I would tell my mommy. Mommy. What is it? Sonia says she doesn't like my daddy. What type of thing is that? After all, she is a bastard. Devil, I bind you in Jesus' name. Yeah. What are you binding? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Don't worry. Um, you see, I'm trying to take charge spiritually. Oh. Oh, finish your assignments. Don't mind your sister. You see, 
why must people sell Aswari B for every little gathering? No. <sighs> now, when you hear of any party, the next thing is common address. Ah, you know, that's the form of the party, my husband. And you know, your attendance will mean a lot to Shiftadi because we are the athletes of the party. Hmm. You see, what you have just said now reminds me of uh, Bami Dele. He is hiding a lot from his wife. Oh, I appreciate God for my own wife. I appreciate God for my wife's faithfulness in keeping to her vow. I have nothing from me. I mean, you are surely a woman with a skeleton in a cupboard. You didn't say anything. You said you trust me. Yes. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, there's nothing like I'm sorry this thing happened by mistake. Such a thing has never happened in our marriage. Oh. What a wonderful woman I've got. Oni kun lo mo ka e mi mo le te mi O mo se e mi lo ye E u ra i kbe nu o le kori ra O mo ve o mo Gata, you are killing me with your silence. Please tell me what is in that paper. Um, I need to find an appropriate and uh, a polite way to say it. <laughs> say it anyhow. Doctor, say it anyhow. Say it in plain language. What is the result? Captain, yeah. the simple truth is that uh, you have to be enough. <laughs> Are you okay? What made you think I'm not okay? You have been in a melancholic state all day. And you are not happy. Dad was at the hospital today. What did you go to the hospital for? I closed early today. When I was feeling somehow. I decided to get to the children's school and pick them. So on our way home, when the pain was becoming unbearable, I stopped over at the nearest hospital. My dear, I'm sick. I'm sick. Oh my God. What happened? <clears throat> the doctor diagnosed Full grown cancer. Oh my god. That can't be. Kids, you need to go to your room now. Uh, Sado, go to your room. Sado, Sado, go to your room. Is your dad's sickness? Hmm? Does it make someone to be sad? Hmm. The last time you had malaria, were you happy? No. Your daddy's sickness is worse compared to malaria. What medication will daddy use? Huh. Enough of the question. Please go to your room.
So, none is my child. <sighs> Whose children are they? I don't get it. When two things that belong to you suddenly disappear without a trace, and two things that stand as pillar collapse at the same time. Oh, oh, now I get it. The blood vessels that supply blood to the heart and the arteries that carries blood from the heart. Oh, elementary biology. Now I understand. <laughs> My dear, we need to go for a prayer retreat. The devil is seriously fighting against us. What about the children? They are not babies. So we have a maid to take care of them. We have a maid to look after them. And let's wait till they vacate. That your child is dead. Oh, my child is not dead. The living one is mine. And I want my son back. Ah, your child is a gay and she's dead. That is a planted lie. Alright? I want my son back and that is final. Ah. with me. <laughs> you don't talk with the lion. And you don't dine with the devil. Because the one with the longest phone will get the largest scoop. Is that it? It's beyond what you think. 
Now, mm -hmm. let this sink into your head. That son does not belong to you. Mm -hmm. It came from the lawyers of my driver. No this and no peace. Shalom. Cut! I want this verified. I want the DNA test. Then bring it on. DNA you will get. Be here, I know that, my son. I know. <laughs> what are you still doing here? Where is Soji? Are you not going to school? No, Chakoy sure, is not going to school today. But why? He needs to go. No, no, no. Come on, get up. Let's go. No, he's not going to school today. He needs to keep me company. I want you to keep you company today. But he can always do that when he's back. No, no. He's going nowhere today and that's final. He's going nowhere today. That's final. Inu chi awa fala bonu o Imu ni kakogbo run wa se bi Iria jori yo Sha jori kale no Oni kun lo mo ka emi mo le te mi O mo se mi lo ye Wouldn't let him go anywhere. His father, my son. I've told you countless times, he's not your son. <laughs> Don't give me that. It is either you be my son, or I cause a stay in your family. What can you do? Have you forgotten so soon? I'm a soldier's wife. <laughs> Ex-soldier, you mean? Once a soldier is always a soldier, and a soldier's wife is also a soldier. Don't dare me. I will dare you over and over again. See, it is either you find a means to do that DNA or I will make sure I leak out all your dirty secrets. Dear Evangelist. Fine then. Please help me out. You know that the son belongs to me. Don't be afraid. <sighs> Richard belongs to you. All preparation to exit the country is set. Tonight we will move out and stop over at Benary Republic. From there we go to South Korea where we will start afresh. Benary Republic? Yes. Um, it's like Captain is aware that the children belong to you. Oh! Oh! I just know how. But he wouldn't stop speaking in radios, which I understand very well. I'm doomed. Ah. I still collected gin from him this afternoon. Ah. I'm a dead man. Ah. Calm down. Calm down. Don't worry. He has not ascertained the fact. The more reason why we must act very fast. What about Mr. He will come after us. Let him come to South Korea then. That would be the better option for him.
Yeah, my love. Alright, Captain, I'll be right back. Hey! Stop it! Get this way! Move this way! Move this way! Please, don't kill me. I plead with you. Please. assure you that you won't regret this. This is a step you're taking that you will never regret. My brother said, and I quote, that this marriage is yours. You can do whatever you want with it. Just please. Please. All for you. All for you. Okay. Okay. Let me go and get started. Uh, no. no, no uh, let's, let's, 
Let's go together. Daddy is not going with us. Why? Don't worry. He's not going with us. Oh, Daddy's cancer. Uh, yes, yes. The people with cancer cannot travel. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Nothing living is a man. Not even a lame man or any physically challenged person. Huh? My God is good. Please let me go upstairs and get my phone. Yes, we'll be going to the hospital right away. Okay, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> My driver, my employee. Panji. Oh, Panji, don't you see my dress? Am I not looking nice? Panji, I'm talking to you now. You are beautiful. You are looking good. Thank you. And let's go now. Panji. Yeah. You know, if you see who you make, how you make, when we get there, the kind of treatment they will give you, you will never forget. In fact, they can treat somebody so nice. I, I'm, I, I'm sure that you are going to enjoy this now. Please tell me that you are doing it. this is serious. And this is kind of terrorist. Please, I mean, Banji, just tell me that you are joking. Yeah, please. Understand. Bungie, this is serious. We are talking about life. Please, Bungie, you keep on failing promises. Bungie, it's either you choose between me and your job. Yes. Please, honey. You don't need to do that. Please, you know I love you. You keep. I love you. You keep on telling me you love me and you. you your, your, this is your character. You keep on failing promises. Bungie, I'm tired of you. Please, I'm sorry. I'll make it up with you. I'll make it up with you. Please, Bungie. I need to get. Banji, you I don't mean. Are you going? Please, I love you. Banji, please. I think I'm done with this relationship. I never ever try to call my number again. Thank you. So you are a retired soldier. Hmm. Technically, yes. Hmm. Did you suspect some enemies among your comrades in the army before you left? Actually, I didn't resign. I didn't leave. 
I, I was forced out of the army because of the amputation of my leg. And my leg was amputated as a result of an explosion that occurred not in the war front, but right in the camp. Who knows if it is the same enemy that is attacking me again after several years. Then how come you were locked in? Um, I, I misplaced my key. And my wife probably thought that the key was with me. Then who owns this home? That's mine. You must have found it somewhere in the compound. I misplaced it yesterday. Good afternoon, ma. How may I help you? Okay, thank you, officer. I need some information on the dismissed captain in the army. Okay, you clear our school, sir. Alpha Fox 007303. Captain Micah, multi award winning explosive expert. Who are you? I'm Banji. You seem to know a lot about me. I also know you were at the state catomic to shop for some items two days before the reported explosion. Just that you took it through the back door. You have access to the records and the CCTV? I also have access to your will at the National Library. Everything you have is will to the orphanage. You submitted that a day before you went to the cartoon. And that was two days before the incident. It provoked some questions. Why not his wife? Why not his children? I'm convinced you've done a good job. My boss helped me up. He helped me. Yet I was dismissed without any gratitude. As a result, I became a pauper. I mean, I became a very poor man. <clears throat> How I mean mean my wife and I decided to meet her uncle who is a native doctor for help. But what the uncle demanded from me is not acceptable by me and I rejected it. She gave me 50,000 Naira to start a trade and that trade ushered me to another era of abundance. That is great. She was a good wife. Just two months ago, I discovered that the two children I used to call my children were actually not my children. My God! Did you ask her? <sighs> yes. 
Yes, I did. Um, what did you say? She confessed. There is more to this. Mr. Bamidili is Sonia's father. Our driver, Soji, owns Richard. And Bamidili is now after my life. I love you. I love you. I vow to protect you. And you also bear my own child. Captain, it's not possible. Why? Why? Hello? Hello, Awa? Aha. Papa. We are still in Nagoya. I pity the condition of Captain. You should have supervised the whole process. Uh, I'm sorry, but there is a way out. He can use his semen. I hope there will be no repercussion. Uh, rather, not at all. Alright. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll be expecting you. When I discovered that I couldn't get pregnant, <sighs> Baba Fadipe told me that we have used all our born children for <gasps> the future. Jesus! I knew you would start getting worried about <laughs> our childlessness. So, I paid Bamidele to impregnate me. That is how I got Sonia. And Soji, our driver, is Richard's father. I, I did this. Why? Why? Why am I here? I didn't send you to do all this, to save me from worries. I didn't send you. Why? I did all for you. Oh. And you gave me 50,000 naira to, to, ah! I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. You have the money. You possess everything. His let's start a fresh. What is money without happiness and joy? Riches without godliness. No, 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 no. It is too hard for me to bear. That is too difficult for me to bear. We are going to stay here together. We are staying in this house together. Promise me that you will forgive our driver too. I will, I will forgive the driver. All for you. All for you. All for you. Okay. Okay. Let me go and get still. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, let's, let's, let, let's go together. No, no. I'm a change person now. How are I knew she would go. She, she, she always have her way in everything. I knew she would go. I knew. No matter what I do, she will go. And if she leaves, I will be left with nothing. As a result of that, I had to kill her. I kill her. Kill the child. And pay my driver. I'm so sorry for that. Arrest me! Arrest me! I'm ready for your arrest. I will send after Perry. 
Everybody believe terrorists have made it to Lagos. But what I found is more of civil case. I know you are not an ordinary police mouth. Do you belong to the Hafa Force? You know about that? Oh. 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 I'm one of those who initiated the formation of the Alpha Force. Permission to take my leave, sir. Kagba volo rusha ni si mi Kagba volo rusha ni si mi go ko ko pe Igbe yan ju aye lori asan ni Kagba volo rusha ni si mi Kagba volo rusha ni si mi Jesus love God. Do you look so smooth and beautiful? It could lead to death. Don't give in for is this it to make you lose? Just hold on to the only option. There is no any other option. No other option. Jesus is the only option. Yes. Yeah. 